So we're doing our top seven raw thoughts on hydrating the body properly. All right, number seven, aches and pains in the body can be simply dehydration. You know, if your, your back hurts a little, your neck or your shoulder hurts a little bit, it may just be that you're dehydrated. So drink more water. Um, number six, drink a glass of water first thing in the morning. We lose water, I think it's like a quarter cup or half a cup, of, probably a quarter cup of water every night when we sleep. So getting up first thing in the morning, having some water. Some say it's good to have warm water to help the bowels flow first thing in the morning. But either way, have yourself a glass of water first thing in the morning, start the day off right. Number five, know how much water to drink. So how much? Well, everybody's different. A good rule of thumb can be take your body weight, divide it by two, and that amount in ounces is the amount of water that you should be drinking at least every day. And of course, the right kind of water, which we're gonna be talking much more about with Clayton Nolte in the next segment. Um, certainly, if you eat a lot of raw foods, you need to drink less water because there's so much water in the food that you're, that you're eating. Number four, structure your drinking water by shaking and stirring. Now, I hesitated to put this one in because we have Clayton, water expert here. So, and we haven't introduced him yet, so a real quick yes or no answer, and we're gonna talk so much more about structuring water in the third segment of the show, but what I learned from you about creating vortexes in water, does it help to structure the water if you were to just stir it like this? Yeah? Ah, good, or if you were to take a bottle of water like this and just shake it, helps to structure it? Oh, really? Like that? Clayton Nolte, friends. Water has memory, so give it love. That's right, water has memory. Give it love, just say I love you, thank you, um, and see what happens. Uh, number two, water is the best beverage. I have people tell me, I don't like water. I don't like the taste of water. Well, structure it first, and that certainly helps, but also just fall in love with water as your favorite be beverage. Once you start drinking more water, water is all you're gonna wanna drink. And certainly you can do fruit infusions or herb infusions or flower infusions or gem elixirs. I tell you how to make gem elixirs in my book um, that you can have for free if you email me. So, you know, that's just like putting, I put hibiscus flowers in my water jug sometimes and it just, um, it's pretty and certainly with, with fruit or herbs, it helps to flavor the water. So it changes the surface tension of the water, but we won't get into all that. And number one, your body needs water to stay youthful. So remember that. I mean, they say we're like 70 to 90% water, meaning when we're born, we're like 90% water, maybe more, maybe 98% water, maybe even. And as we age, we can go down to 70% water or less. So it's really important that we stay hydrated to stay youthful. So drink that water.